3,000 people live on the built-up island of Lindau, and just as many guest beds await the tourists who come to visit Germany's most southerly lighthouse. The town even has an opera house, though one of a very special kind. In Lindau, not people, but marionettes are on stage. The opera is run by Bernhard Leismüller. He moved to Lindau from Bad Tölz, a small town in Upper Bavaria. It was my calling. There was a marionette theatre in Bad Tölz for over a hundred years. And I went there as a child and saw my first opera, The Abduction from the Seraglio. From then on, all I wanted to do was play with the puppets. He not only learned how to play with the puppets, but also how to make them. Bernhard designs them himself, carves them out of wood, and creates their costumes. For the marionette opera house in Lindau, which he established, he's made over 400 puppets for pieces like the Magic Flute or La Traviata. Even the smallest part gets its own hand-stitched costume. Each puppet needs to have its own clothes to fit its body. The material I use comes from all over the world. Wherever I go, the first thing I do is look for the next material shop. It wasn't easy at first making people realize that this wasn't a children's theater, but that the pieces are for adults. We're harking back to a long tradition when marionette theaters were exclusively for adults. Today's performance is a ballet, Swan Lake. The dance movements are a particular challenge for the puppeteers. They're helped by an unusual mechanism. The puppets are moved by using a control bar that is a stroke of genius. It was developed by the Salzburg Marionette Theater. It enables you to make several movements at the same time, and you can work close to your partner, which is very important in opera. A lovers do it, where the pair are half a meter apart, really wouldn't work. The control bar allows you to get the puppets closer together. Bernhard is a perfectionist who pays great attention to the smallest detail. He even painted the curtain himself. It was obvious that our Swan Lake couldn't just be anywhere, but had to be Lake Constance. That's why you can see the Swiss and Austrian mountains in the background. Over a hundred thousand people have already come to see the twelve-person opera group perform in Lindau. During Swan Lake, the puppeteers are on, or rather above the stage, for over two hours. When you're playing, you have to become one with your puppet. You have to imagine that you are standing on stage yourself. So you move the puppet just as you would act at the moment. When you are no longer holding the puppet, then it just becomes a piece of wood. No more and no less. It's just wood with a bit of material.